Oh, sir, Captain Bingham. Uh, uh, Carpenter, be careful. Now, you splash mud on this brand new clean white uniform, and I'll have you transferred to submarine duty. With the windows open. Of course, sir. I'll be very careful. You better be. So happens I am due at the officers club for a very important cocktail party. Oh. And we... <laughs> You see that from your hiding place, you coward? They tried to kill me. Oh, don't you worry, sir. I'll be a witness. And it was McHale's crew, sir. I could tell by the way they aimed at you. <laughs> then that must be a stolen Jeep, too. What was the license number? Oh, oh, sir, don't write on that. Please, sir, read it. It's an official radio signal from Admiral Hottesty. What in bless? Ship out all of my chief petty officers? What is this all about? Well, man? those are the Admiral's orders, sir. See, it says right here, all available CPOs are needed for immediate duty as conflict training instructors, sir. You mean to tell me I'm supposed to ship out the only efficient men on this base while those hot rotting dodos run around wild? For heaven's sakes, but why couldn't they be chief petty officers? Those ninnies, sir. What is this, a ninny calling a bunch of ninnies a ninny? Oh, it's a hot <laughs> sir. I... Wait a minute. Why couldn't they be chief petty officers? Well, for one thing, sir, you know how you hate anyone who gets promoted before you do. Oh, shut up. That's terrible. That isn't even true. I don't. Well, you don't have the brains to realize it, but Admiral Hardesty has just handed me my passport to freedom right here. <laughs> oh, get out of my way. Go wrench yourself a brain. No, sir, sir! <laughs> He's going to hate me when he finds out. I'm wearing his pants. <laughs> Examinations for a chief petty officer's rating. Yeah, how about that? Uh, who needs it? Yeah. Well, I think that's a heck of a nice break. It gives you eight balls a chance to get somewhere in this man's Navy. Oh, no, Skip, we never pass a test like that. My brain gets tired halfway through a comic book. <laughs> how do you know unless you try, huh? Yeah, Skip's right. But old Lead Bottom are never okay as guys anyway. Uh, you just know that, Skip. He'd never promote us. Why, well, if he had his choice, he'd break us to civilians. Oh, we should be... Oh, oh come on, Chuck. We're wasting time with these schlock mices. They got about as much ambition as my Uncle Dudley. Hey, and he's dead. Too bad, sir. Too bad. Too bad, sir. Looks like the end of your plan to try and ship them out as CPOs. Oh, your brains, your blabbermouth. What you saw was phase one. Now we're ready for phase two. Shut the window. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I thought you were out of there. I didn't... I... <laughs> Lester, how would you like to be a chief petty officer? Hmm? A chief petty officer, sir? Uh... <laughs> Uh, you no doubt have seen this uh, this uh, notification that went up on the uh, bulletin board. No, no, no. Wait a minute, sir. If you think I was the one that penciled in Kilroy was here, you've got it all wrong. <laughs> See, Homer, if you don't shut up when I... I... <laughs> I, mean, uh, I uh, look, son, I have studied the CPO availabilities, you see, and there is only one man on this base who measures up to the high requirements that are needed by this rating. That man, Lester, that man is you. Are you sure there isn't another Lester Gruber in this outfit? <laughs> I want you to take a good look at the face of the future. Look in there. Dignity, recognition, and don't you forget the chief petty officers get two extra cans of beer every week. You're going to have a higher income. You're going to have money to burn, boy. All you have got to do is sign this application and it's all yours. I don't know about that dignity, Chaz, but I sure love those fringe benefits. <laughs> Give me that pen, if you please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gruber. <laughs> you ride strong, Leslie. <laughs> Thank you, boy. Oh, here, uh, take this. This is a gift from your commander. They'll, uh, I want you to study this. It'll be a little test tomorrow. Of course, it's just a formality. <laughs> Chief Petty Officer Gruber. Why, even my bookie won't recognize me. <laughs> now you run along. And, uh, oh, one other thing. Uh, don't tell the other fellas. I'd hate to have them know that you're my favorite, Lester. <laughs> Anything you say, Wally. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later, boy. Run along. Carpenter, send the next one in. Me, sir? Uh, chief Petty Officer? <laughs> 
And just think of all the fringe benefits, Virgil, my boy. You see, chiefs are invited to all of the dances at the officers' club. And there are free cocktails, there's extra pay, and there are all the nurses you can have. Well, sign, I'll sign. <laughs> Believe me, Willie, I have looked over all the availabilities. There is only one man on this base who measures up to the high standards required by this rating. <laughs> and Christy, old pal, that man is you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You see, Tinker, I haven't made a mistake. Anybody can tell by taking one look at you. You are a born leader, boy. <laughs> Not in there either. Where are those guys? I don't understand it. You know, I had a police area myself this morning. <laughs> An officer shouldn't be seen doing that, Skip. <laughs> Something's up. And there's our first suspect. Come on. Right there, Gruber. All right, Chuck, get it. Okay, Gruber, we got you this time. Look at that, Skip. Caught him with the goods. The Navy manual. <laughs> the Navy manual? That's right. What's wrong with that? Ain't a guy entitled to steady his craft? <laughs> Case of attack. <laughs> oh, there's something going on here, but what? I can't figure this one out. Hey, wait a minute, Skip. I got it. Look, there's a war on, right? Well, of course. Well, now, the 3,000 guys are drafted every week, right? Right. Well, now, those guys got to be trained, right? Right. Well, don't you get it? Gruber's cornered a market on the Navy manual. <laughs> I wonder how much he's going to charge. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Chuck. Somehow, I don't think that's it. Skip. Aha! <laughs> All right, Tinker, hand it over. But, Skip! I got it, Skip. Look at that. Hey, a girly book. Well, at least you don't have to worry about him. He's acting normal. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Take a look at this, though. <laughs> Another Navy manual. Uh -huh. Do you mind? I'm a heavy reader. A oh, heavy reader. Oh, now I know something's up. I never saw any of you guys study anything before except maybe a racing form. <laughs> this is the worst thing you guys have ever done. Well, I wish I knew what it was. <laughs> Let go of that. You let go of it. It's mine. No, it's not. It's mine. Oh, now what? Come on. You let go. For the last time, I'm telling you, Christy. All right, all right. Break it up. Hey, oh. look at that, Skip. Another Navy manual. I'm telling you, they're cornering the market. Excuse me, Mr. Parker, but that's mine. No, it's not. Binghamton gave it to me. You're lying. He gave it to me. He said that I was his choice to make chief. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, I'm the one he picked. <laughs> you? He picked me. And you flipped. He said I was a born leader. <laughs> you a chief petty officer? That's a laugh. <laughs> Holy crap, oh, you numbskulls. Don't you guys see? Binghamton is playing footsie with you again. Look, he's conned each and every one of you guys into thinking that you're his choice to make chief. It's so obvious. Don't you guys see what he's trying to do? <laughs> no, no, why? why? <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, he's, he's, he's got a plan where he's going to... Well, it's slick how he's... Uh... <laughs> you better tell him, Skip. <laughs> I don't know any more about it than you do, Chuck, or any one of you guys. All I know is that you can bet your plug hat that old lead bottom is setting some kind of a trap. And he's using the chief's job for bait. Well, Skip, what are we going to do? We've all signed to take that test tomorrow. Oh, Yeah, brother. but there's nothing on the application I read that says we have to pass it. Yeah, well, that's right. it, Skipper. We'll take the test. And we'll flunk it. Yeah, that's right. Well, you quack him down, Skip, so a real chief petty officer can do some studying. <laughs> Still in there? Yeah, did you find out anything? Paletti, at 1500 this afternoon, all chief petty officers on this base are going to be transferred. Orders of Admiral Hardesty. You mean if those guys pass the... Uh-huh. Then that's the reason Bigham to... If... Well, a dirty old man. <laughs> Boy, what a rough exam. Oh, yeah, it was murder. A real doozy. You should have seen us, Skip. Wow, did we throw that test? I didn't, I didn't answer a question. Good, yeah, good. You said the pictures I drew. <laughs> I played tic-tac-toe on mine. <laughs> Two good, games. Good work, then. Good work, because you don't know the narrow escape you guys just had. If you guys would have passed that exam, you'd have been shipped out. Shipped <laughs> out? Oh, oh, you good? You good? Don't keep on me. Give up the ship. All right, Elroy, here we are. Post the promotion list. Yes, sir. The promotion list? You mean you've marked the exams already, sir? Oh, yes, yes. These are the results, Miguel. 
Uh, Lester Gruber, 100. <laughs> Virgil Edwards, 100. Impossible. George Christopher, 100. <laughs> Willie Moss, 100. Uh-oh. Harrison Bell. 99, you didn't study. <laughs> Wait a minute, Captain. It... Congratulations, you men are all promoted to Chief Petty Officer. <laughs> now, Captain, you're pulling a pass one and you know it. We failed that test. You framed us. It's a double cross. Yeah, I'm going to write my uncle. He's an air raid warden. <laughs> I'm proud of all you men, and I want to wish you success on your next assignment, uh, wherever that might be. <laughs> now, now, you can't do that, Captain. I can't tell you how pleased I am. You men should be very proud of yourselves. Imagine five men and one crew all being promoted to chief petty officer. Well, Admiral Hardesty, may I have permission to speak, sir? Uh, don't pay attention to him, Admiral. That's McHale. He's a troublemaker. <laughs> but, sir, these men didn't pass legitimately, sir. Admiral, he is just trying to grab the credit. You see, without these intelligent, highly trained, efficient men, he couldn't command a rowboat in Central Park. Good so, good so. As good as you were. But, sir, if you'll just look at the test paper, sir, you'll see for yourself... At ease, McHale. I realize what a blow it is to lose your men like this, but it's all for the good of the war effort. Uh, uh, Carpenter? Here, sir. <laughs> uh, um, Carpenter, march these men to the processing hut. They're shipping out at once. Yes, sir. After you, Admiral. All right, men, we're moving out. <laughs> hey, Skip, what are we doing? Oh, 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 just a minute here. Just a minute. <laughs> Did you men hear me? I distinctly said, Ford Harch. Well, that distinct... You show me anywhere in the regulations where it says anything about Harchie. <laughs> you just stand back. Now, hold it, hold it, hold it. Just a minute. Now, you better do like he says, fellas. I can't do a thing until I talk to the Admiral. Alone. <laughs> All right, men. Left. Hey. Ford March. <laughs> Well, that's it, Fuji. The Admiral refused to see us, so with the crew gone, I guess the skip and I'll be shipped out for sure. Then what to become of Fuji? Gosh, I guess you have to give yourself up. What? And become prisoner of war? Now, hear this. This is your captain speaking. Oh, boy, it's a captain. You better hide. All oh, PT boat crews. Enemy sub just sighted. Latitude 49, longitude 65, bearing due west. Hey, boy, I repeat, an enemy sub. This is your captain this is speaking. Fuji. All Fuji. boats, The Admiral stand really shouldn't by. break up a great crew. PT 111, 115, and 112. Stand by for immediate action. Over and... Hey, uh, uh, Captain Binghamton, you, you forgot the 73. This is Ensign Charles Parker, standing by in the deck of the 73, waiting for your orders. <laughs> Parker, I'm glad you reminded me. I've got orders for the 73, all right. I'm ordering it out first thing in the morning for target practice. <laughs> right. Uh, target practice? You read me right, Ensign. He can't do that to get on the 73. But I'm American. Who was that? Huh? Well, it's... I mean, okay, sir. I mean, my voice just changed. The news came as such a shock. Always talk like Chris and receive bad news. Oh, no. Will you shut up and get off the frequency, you dim-witted dodo? Well, now, look, Captain. Call me what you may, but please, sir, spare the 73. I mean, look, as one old salt to another. I mean, I beg of you to... Uh... <clears throat> blah, blah. I hung up. Hey, somebody throw him out for target practice. Well, can you imagine that? A gallon old 73 being executed like a traitor with her own guns. Well, I'm not going to let it happen. If the 73 goes down, she's going down fighting. Clear the deck, Fuji. I'm going after that sub. No, Mr. Parker. You can't chase sub all alone. Well, somebody's got to save the reputation of the 73. Now, you better sign on in a hurry. I'm going out on the double. <laughs> Uh oh. What if operator asks me who Babe Ruth is? <laughs> that may be Skipper now. Maybe not. Now, where the heck is Mr. Parker? I told him to stand by. Are you sure the Admiral won't change his mind, oh, Skip? He Come can't on. do this to us. Yeah, building the Union Pacific was nothing compared to this railroad job. <laughs> oh, well. But I got to lose. One PW camp as good as next. <laughs> Hello there, chaps. Lieutenant Smythers here. Pipit and all that sort of what? Fuji? Skipper-san, how you know it's me? 
Well, I, it was just a lucky guess, Fooch. <laughs> and now look, where is Mr. Parker? He what? <laughs> he took off on a 73. What's the matter with for? He out there somewhere, alone. Looking for a He carry on like he combination John Wayne and Cecil Hayakawa. <laughs> all right, all right, calm down, calm down, Fuji. Yeah, 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 listen, we'll do something. I don't know what, but we'll do it. Right, though. Harry Ho. <laughs> well, Mr. Parker must have flipped. Well, get himself killed. We better do something and fast. We can't just sit here. Let's go. Yeah, yeah wait, a minute. Minute. wait a minute. Now, where do you mutton heads think you're going? We're going to grab ourselves a boat and go after Mr. Parker. Yeah. Well, come over here. You guys out of your mind. Now, look, you cannot go out the front door like that. You're restricted to quarters, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh sure. Uh, besides, you only boat around the place as the admirals. And he... Hey, any questions, Skip? <laughs> like I said, nobody's going out that front door. We'll use the back door. Come on, out! <laughs> You guys see anything? Aerial reconnaissance reports an enemy sub north of Kalawi, bearing 090. 090. Okay, Willie. And listen, stay on that radio and try to contact Mr. Parker. Now look, Christy, pour the coal to her. We gotta try to catch him. Let's go, boy. All right, Skip. Call in the 73. Call in the 73. Use a 73 for target practice, Willie. I'll show that Binghamton. Boy, we're teeny little ways. <laughs> well, I know that sub's out there somewhere. Gotta find it. Just got to. Skip, you see anything? Oh, not a sign of him anywhere. Uh, nothing doing on the radio either. His set must be off. Well, keep trying, keep trying. We've gotta catch him before he gets himself into a jam. You won't come up and fight, huh? All right, I'll give that sub a piece of my mind. Get him on the radio. Oh. Uh, stations, power stations, we're being attacked! Oh. Uh, wrong button. Everybody keep calm. That's an order. Uh, this must be the radio. Testing. One, two, three. Test. <coughs> Testing. All right, you nips. I know you're down there. Hey, it's Mr. Parker! Hey, it's all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Chuck, Chuck, this is Mikhail. Come in, 73. Come Skip! Over. What are you doing out here? Chuck, never mind that. What is your position? Well, now, look, Skip. You shouldn't be out here. There's sharks in the water. You shouldn't be out here without a boat. Chuck, we've got a boat. The Admiral's boat. Look, just get your tail out of there fast before you get yourself killed. Don't worry, Skip. I'm not afraid of any nips up. No siree. After all, this is for the honor of the 73. Shark, you listen to me. You turn that boat about, and you proceed back to the base, and that's an order. Sorry, Skip, but I'm not going to let Binghamton use the 73 for target practice. Chuck, what was that? Don't worry, Skip. If there's a nip sub out here, I'll get it. I promise you. Chuck, what's going on there? Come in, come in. Skip! You'll have to speak a little louder. There's a lot of static on this radio. Chuck, you get out of there fast. Boy, that shelling's not helping either. Skip! Skip! Skip starboard off his of I mean, get the off starboard bow! I mean, port! I mean, port is left, starboard. Chuck, what's happening? Skip, I'm engaged to the enemy! I mean, I'm engaged to the enemy! I gotta go now! No, 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 Chuck, wait, wait, listen to me, boy, listen, Chuck! All right, men, this is Ensign Parker of the United States Navy. If you give up, I promise that you'll all be treated fairly. So you want to so fight dirty, huh? It's Warrior One! It's Warrior Two! Sounds like he's getting murdered. We're still out of range. We're gonna be too late. Chuck, Chuck, can you hear me? Come in, boy, come in. Well, I'll teach you to mess with a 73, you lousy. 
Hey, that was us. <laughs> Boy, I better take a base of action. These guys don't know when they're late. Hello, 73. Hello, 73. Chuck, what's going on out there? Hi, Skip. Say about those prisoners. They seem to have a little trouble making up their mind about surrendering. Chuck, listen. You get your tail out of there fast. We're still out of range. You rev up those engines and go. Right, Skip. Oh, boy, now let's see which one of these buttons is a rubber upper. <laughs> Oh, boy, that wasn't it. Oh. Hello, Skip. Uh, listen, I hope you won't be mad with me, but I just lost one of our torpedoes. You lost a torpedo? Yeah, but don't worry. I'll pay for it. You can take it out of my salary. What's going on out there, Skip? Can't you see him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just barely. Just barely. I see you. I see it, Chuck. Uh, Skip, we'll never get that one back. It's headed right for the sub. <laughs> Not to 73, please, not to 73. Holy jumping Jehoshaphat. He got the sub. Hey! Chuck, hey! Chuck you, you got the sub, boy. You got it. Yeah, I know. I did. I mean, I did. I did. Uh, Chuck, now look. We're approaching on your starboard beam. Can you see us, boy? Looks like you didn't need our help, Mr. Parker. You did it all yourself. Uh, it was beautiful. Well, I'm... Uh, after all, I can't take all the credit. I mean, <clears throat> I was just looking for the rever upper button, and, well, I pressed this one instead. So what... Oh, no. <laughs> Hello, Skip. Uh, listen, I hope you won't be mad, but I just had another little accident. Ah, now, don't you worry, Chuck. Listen, as far as we're concerned, <laughs> a one-man task force like you, you can have all the accidents you want. <laughs> Skip, look, torpedo, dead ahead! Hard left, hard left. Right for us. Oh my gosh! Get out of the way, you guys! Oh, it's too late, it's too late! We're gunners! Hang on! Get it. I could have sworn Mr. Parker was on our side. Uh, Skip! Are you guys all right? Is everybody okay? Yes, yes, oh, we're just fine. <laughs> Get over here right away and pick us up at a double! All right, Skip, I'll be right there. Oh, I hope the Admiral's a good sport about his boat. Abandoned <laughs> ship. Someday I'm going to look back at all this and just laugh. Laugh? <laughs> Boy, I'm going to laugh! I'm gonna laugh, Drove! I'm gonna laugh! <laughs> All right, you boat nappers, you're all under arrest for desertion. For stealing the Admiral's boat, for sinking U.S. naval... Just a minute, Binghamton, belay that. I'd trade my little PT boat for a sub any day. <laughs> you would? No, I didn't say not to punish them, Binghamton. In fact, I want every one of these CPOs broken in rank. Back to their original ratings. After all, we can't let them off scot-free. <laughs> oh, no, sir. We, we sure couldn't do that. Bad boys should be treated like bad boys. <laughs> so I'm going to radio in a full report on that kill. Let's go. Uh, but, Admiral, they should be chiefs. They're loyal. They're trustworthy. They're good to their mothers. <laughs> Congratulations, Chuck. You just made naval history, boy. You sank a nip sub, uh, an American PT boat, and a conniving captain all in one day. <laughs> I'm not even winded. <laughs> That's our engine. <laughs> Oh, sir, Captain Bingham. Uh, Carpenter, be careful. Now, you splash mud on this brand new clean white uniform, and I'll have you transferred to submarine duty. But the wind is open. Don't worry, sir. I'll be very careful. You better be. So happens I am due at the officers club for a very important cocktail party. Oh. And we... <laughs> You see that from your hiding place, you coward? They tried to kill me. Oh, don't you worry, sir. I'll be a witness. And it was McHale's crew, sir. I could tell by the way they aimed at you. 
Then that must be a stolen Jeep, too. What was the license number? Oh, sir, don't write on that. Please, sir, read it. It's an official radio signal from Admiral Hardesty. Fucking bless. Ship out all of my chief petty officers? What is this all about? Well, there? those are the Admiral's orders, sir. See, it says right here, all available CPOs are needed for immediate duty as conflict training instructors, sir. You mean to tell me I'm supposed to ship out the only efficient men on this base while those hot rotting dodos run around wild? For heaven's sakes, but why couldn't they be chief petty officers? Those ninnies, sir. What is this, a ninny calling a bunch of ninnies a ninny? Oh, that's a hot <laughs> one, sir. I... Wait a minute. Why couldn't they be chief petty officers? Well, for one thing, sir, you know how you hate anyone who gets promoted before you do. Oh, shut up. That's terrible. That isn't even true. I don't. You don't have the brains to realize it, but Admiral Hardesty has just handed me my passport to freedom right here. <laughs> oh, get out of my way. Go wrench yourself a brain. No, sir, sir! <laughs> He's going to hate me when he finds out. I'm wearing his pants. <laughs> Examinations for our chief petty officer's rating. Yeah, how about that? Uh, who needs it? Yeah. Well, I think that's a heck of a nice break. It gives you eight balls a chance to get somewhere in this man's Navy. Oh, no, Skip, we never pass a test like that. My brain gets tired halfway through a comic book. How do you know unless you try, huh? Yeah, Skip's right. But old Leadbottom are never okay as guys anyway. 